Hi, and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip video with Active Directory. Sorry if my voice is a little bit raspy. I'm just getting over a cold, uh, but we're going to keep this one fairly short, um, but it should be very useful uh, for the system admins or the server administrators out there uh, that want to get a list, an automated list of all their domain controllers in their environment. So this will be very helpful if you have a Active Directory forest with multiple domains. Unfortunately, my example, we will only see one domain and one domain controller, uh, but do be aware that when we do actually script this, this will actually take into account for multiple domains and multiple domain controllers. So if you do use this script in your own environment, you will actually get your full list of domain controllers. Uh, this is something that I've actually used in uh, my own work uh, situation uh, in a production environment uh, to get all of the domain controllers. Uh, so it is something that does actually carry over uh, to a multiple domain, multiple domain controller environment. So let's actually, let's just go ahead and let's get started with just the basic command list that we'll be using today to get that information. And then we'll go ahead and create the script. So the first thing that we need to do, if we want to get all the domain controllers in our environment, we need to first be able to list off all the domains in our environment. Um, and in order to do so, we need to know what is the forest name of our, of our environment. So we're gonna actually store that in a variable here. So I'm just gonna create a variable called forest name, and we're gonna make that as our forest for us is jacked.ca. Um, and I'll show you a very easy way to actually see what your forest name is. So if you're on the computer that is connected to a domain in that forest, you can actually just do a get dash ad forest without anything. And that will actually pull back your current active directory forest, which for us, we can see the forest name is jack.ca. So that is actually perfect. But what we like to do just to be sure, just add a little identity here with the forest name, just in case and we can actually then execute this and we get our information and we can actually see already here uh, we can see the domains here we can see what is the uh, domain naming master server we can see what the forest mode is in we can see uh, what servers are the global catalogs so if you do want a script to go get what are the global catalogs in my forest you can actually get that as well with this commandlet. If you have any suffixes that are already pre-entered into your domain, you can get those here as well. So those are all very, very handy things to know. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the second commandlet that we're going to need, which is the get-ad domain controller commandlet. Now, this one is a little bit tricky um, if you don't know what parameters to use. Um, so what often happens, you might see these and you might just go, oh, I'll just put a domain name in here, jacked.ca. Now in this, in my example here, since we only have one, it'll work just fine. Um, it'll force you to put in a discover value here. Uh, so you actually need to put in the discover parameter. And this will usually shoot you back one server. Uh, so it's not super, super handy. What I actually prefer doing with the get-ad domain controller is I actually prefer to specify a server here and we're going to put in uh, jack.ca because technically we're not supposed to be putting in the forest name. We're supposed to be putting in the domain name here, the fully qualified domain name. And then we're going to put in a filter as well. So we like to put in a filter here because normally if you only specify a server, it will only actually give you back one AD domain controller back. But if you put the filter in, it will actually give you that full list. Um, so this filter star is a very important aspect. And then if you actually run this, you will see you will get a lot of information back. Uh, you probably don't need all of this information. Of course, it is all very useful information to know. You can get your LDAP port, your IPv4 address, um, the domain name of the domain controller, the domain, whether it's enabled, what forest it's in, the host name, 
Um, so you can get a lot of information, the operating system that it's running on and the SSL port and of course the site definition. Uh, so what we actually normally do here for me um, is I like to actually just pipe this over to a select and then I'll usually select the name, the domain. I like selecting the IPv4 address. Of course, if your environment uses IPv6 addresses, it would be handy to pull those back instead or as well. Um, and then we're going to put in the site as well. I like to just put this in there just for the sake of having it. Normally these three though, I usually find it's definitely more than enough. And then if we actually run this here, we will actually see that we do get our uh, main domain controller back. So if you had a list of domain controllers, you would actually see multiple in this list here. So that's how you would actually pull this back. Now let's go back to our original problem of getting all the domain controllers in your Active Directory forest. So we already have the forest here, the forest name in a variable. So all we would actually need to do now is get the domains from our get ad forest. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna create a variable called domains and we're gonna make that equal to get ad forest. Um, but what we need to do is we need to simplify that because we only wanna get back the domains. And one thing to pay attention to is the domains here it is wrapped in a curly bracket. So actually, if I do a select uh, domains here and we go ahead and we run this, we will see that domains is actually still wrapped up in here. So if we did what we would typically do, and that would be a for each uh, domain in uh, domains here, We could just spit out uh, domain. Now this will actually seemingly work or not work depending on how you would actually interpret this, but this actually just spits us back out the actual array. Um, so that actually does not help us at all. Um, so what we actually need to do instead of select domains, we need to do a select and then a expand property and then specify domain. So now when we actually go ahead and we do the domains here, when we actually look at domains, it will give us a list or an array of domains. In this case, I only have one, but now if we go into the for each, it actually just spits us back out the domain itself and not the array or the actual whole value or the object that contains domains. Um, so that is a very, very big difference. So then all we actually need to do now is actually take this line of get AD controller, uh, sorry, get AD domain controller. And instead of server, we're actually going to specify domain in here. And all we need to do is highlight the entire script and hit run. And there is the list of all your active directory domain controllers in your Active Directory forest. So this could be especially helpful for when we're making that dashboard. One thing that I really like to do is display all the Active Directory domains that are in the forest that you're looking at, display maybe all the Active Directory domain controllers. It also helps to display the, um, the global catalogs as well, which we've seen that we can get that information from get AD forest. So all of these commandlets are very, very handy. There are some other very useful commandlets that we haven't even looked at yet, like the get ad domain commandlet, which if you run this without any parameters, will just run on the get ad domain on the domain that your workstation is on or that you're in. Um, so this is another one that could be very, very helpful uh, to use if you need specific information. But if all you need is to get your domain controllers, this is how you do it. If you guys have any questions regarding Active Directory or PowerShell with Active Directory, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any comments regarding this video or questions regarding this video, please let me know as well. And also let me know if you guys have any command list that you guys would like me to look at. Um, afterwards and we're going to be working on that dashboard pretty soon it's probably going to be starting in the next video or two 
So be on the lookout for that. Also, please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.